Okay, everybody. So in the first video, we talked about the seven things you need to be doing on Facebook to advertise with your Facebook pay-per-click. The second video, we talked about the funnel, where in your funnel it should lie, uh, basically what a funnel looks like for either you or your clients. Now we're going to show you where Facebook does all the heavy lifting. But before we begin, I need to talk about pixels or tracking pixels. So what a pixel is, is it's this little piece of code that you basically put on your website. It's very easy to do. Facebook has pixels and Facebook has instructions on how to do it. Now you may wonder what is a tracking pixel. So I'm going to use this, this easy little high dollar prop that we had here laying around the office. Now what happens is, is when you go visit a site, it's almost like a pixel gets placed right on you, meaning on the web visitor. So if we're in the sales funnel, this works for retargeting or this works for tracking for like a sale or an opt-in or registration. What Facebook is doing is Facebook actually has pixels that will say, oh, this person right here, this person right here bought. And what happens is, is this pixel then basically sticks with the visitor and follows them around to the different sites. So another way to explain this would be, if you've ever went to go buy something online, a lot of times what you run into, you're about ready to buy something but you decide not to, and then you go to another website and you see an ad of that same product you're ready to buy. Maybe it has a discount. You go to another website and you see another ad of that same product. It seems like that person's everywhere or that company. Well, that's used with pixels. So a pixel is a little piece of code you put on your website and it attaches to people as they travel around the net. So Facebook has pixels. Facebook for advertising terms does not have a tracking pixel. You cannot use a pixel on Facebook for tracking. Well you can but that's not what they're used for. Keep in mind this, this is super important. When you put these pixels on your site, and you send people to your site, to your sale or your opt-in or your registration, Facebook is tracking that information on who goes there. This is how Facebook's gonna do the heavy lifting. So what happens is, is you're not gonna use this as a tracking pixel. You're gonna use this as a conversion pixel. Now, let me explain this. This is where Facebook does all the work. See, right now, you're gonna advertise for likes. There is a setting, let me find my green marker because it's much more appropriate for this situation. So what you do is, you're targeting likes, Facebook set this up for the last couple of months, but you can click this button that says optimize for likes. Facebook will go out and will find people that have a very high probability to like your page. You're getting them in your funnel. You can also use this pixel for engagement. See what happens is, is you can go out and tell Facebook, Facebook, I want you to go out and give me engagement, okay? Promoted post, you can spend money on promoted posts where Facebook will go out and find the probability of someone clicking on your post. It will advertise to people that have a high probability of clicking on your post, okay? Now what happens, I'll use this for a symbol of retargeting or of, of a pixel, right? I think of kind of like a starry pixel. So what happens is, is you can tell Facebook, go get me likes. You can tell Facebook, go get me engagement. And Facebook is profiling people to give you the highest engagement. You can tell Facebook, hey, I want you to promote this post and I want as many people to see it as possible. Now what also happens is you can do dark post. With Facebook, with dark post, you can tell Facebook, Facebook, I want you to go out and I want you to find me clicks. This is very different than saying, hey, Facebook, I'm willing to pay 50 cents for a click. You can tell Facebook, Facebook, I want you to go out, find as many people that will click on this dark post as possible. Because when they click on it and it's in their newsfeed, it's going to go over to my website. Okay? I can also tell Facebook, Facebook, I want you to use this dark post and I want you to go find as many sales or opt-ins, or registrations to an event or a webinar, I want you to go out and find as many as possible. Well, what happens is, and many people think this is a tracking pixel, you can actually install this pixel right here on the sale. This sale as well too, or opt-in. The other thing is you can place the pixel for retargeting. So let me show you what happens. 
I can tell Facebook to go get me likes. I just got to show them where the target is. I can tell them to get me engagement. I just got to tell them, go get me engagement, right? It's all in my bidding. And I'm going to uh, do some videos for you. Where I'm going to walk you step by step through this on, on how you do that bidding. Same thing with promoted posts. Now I'm going to start getting clicks to this dark post and people are going to start landing on my page. So this pixel is going to fire a retarget. This is a retargeting pixel. This pixel is going to fire. That sticker is going to be on there. So if someone goes to my website, but doesn't register for the, for the opt in, doesn't register for the webinar, doesn't opt in, they're going to see a different ad versus if someone registers for my webinar, I just tested this recently and it's amazing. When someone registered on the thank you page, I put a pixel, a retargeting pixel that said, anybody who opted into my webinar, I want them to see this ad. And the ad said, save the date for the upcoming webinar. So these people always had a reminder. It cost me an extra $20 to run those ads for five days, but it was a permanent reminder for anybody when they went back onto Facebook who registered to see that, don't forget the date, super important. Well, what happens though, is this is where I get super excited and I'm going to show you in the next video how exactly how this works. But what happens is, is I'm going to have a pixel in place on my sale page. Again, sale, opt-in registration. I'm also going to have a second pixel on the next thing that I sell and I'm going to run Facebook traffic to it. The next one, I'm going to have another pixel. This could be a higher ticket item. But what's going to happen is, is when Facebook sends traffic and pours it in this funnel, I can tell Facebook, force the likes, force the engagement, force the promoted post, make sure people click on this dark post. And then I can turn this pixel on right here. I literally, it's you flip a switch. I'm going to put a check mark. You flip a switch. So once people have seen this pixel, here's what we're doing. Registration, opt-ins. You put this pixel in the very beginning when you're running ads. When we see 20, the, better, the more data, the better, 20 to 30 opt-ins, we will optimize per opt-in, okay? We will set up a tracking, we will, sorry, I said tracking, we will set up a conversion pixel, and once 20 to 30 people have opted in, we will tell Facebook, Facebook, we want you to optimize to the conversion pixel. We want you to go out, and find me customers, or in this case, find me opt-ins. So again, we're bringing people down the funnel, they're clicking from a dark post over to our website and there's some retargeting, but as soon as someone opts in, they're gonna get this pixel. As soon as someone buys, they also have a pixel as well. So what we do with buys, is once someone has bought, we say at least 30 times because we like the ad or we like, uh, we like this to be a little bit better data, Facebook will actually go out and Facebook will find people that have a high probability of coming down and buying. So you can actually set up ads for a conversion pixel that says, I want you to target, let's just say your avatar is someone who likes BMX bikes. I want you to target people who like BMX bikes and I want you to go out and find opt-ins below $5. Facebook will do all the work for you with this pixel. The more people that opt in, the more this pixel learns, the easier and the better the Facebook marketing targeting gets. This is all the stuff you got to do in the beginning with this pixel and the way that you set this up right that I'm going to show you in this next video. Literally, if you learn how to do this right here, whoops, let me cut this off. If you learn this dark post retargeting, how to get people targeted for opt-ins and sales, literally you can build your own ticket. This can be for your personal funnel. This could be for your, and I'm telling you, I'm writing this in green for a reason. This can be for a client. This is what seven and eight figure clients pay us for. Because what happens is we know how to get likes. We know how to get that engagement. We know how to run those promoted posts. We run the dark post into an offer. We start finding out, remember, there's only two numbers that I care about. Just two. One, I'm going to write this in green. Two, CPA, cost per acquisition. I want to know how much does it cost for me to get a sale and opt in a registration? How much does it cost for me to get a sale? Now, E, 
PA. No, this isn't a government agency. This is my earnings per acquisition. I want to know if it cost me $5 to get an opt-in, right? If it cost me $5, it cost me $5, but on every opt-in, I, I, I average $10 in revenue from my sales funnel. That is what some of my friends call the magic money machine. Like you can print money, meaning you send as much traffic as Facebook uh, as possible on Facebook. Facebook will find the right target for you. Now this is really important because as you're building a sales funnel, whether if you're a small business, whether if you have an online webinar, whether you have an e-commerce store, whatever, as you lead people through the funnel, the more that people buy from you, the more that they will buy from you. This is something that if you want to do a speaker, coach, consultant, this is where high ticket items come in. Once you learn how to master this right here, you have clients lined up at your door. Once you understand your own cost per acquisition and earnings per acquisition, you can use this for a small business, for affiliates, for any kind of marketing that you want to do. This next thing that I'm going to show you, I thought this right here, I thought this, the, the conversion pixels, I thought that was a game changer. Nothing to about the next step that I'm going to show you. Video three and four is the most important. When you see video four, it's really going to hit you. And then inside the training, as I show you step by step of exactly how to set this up, the exact buttons to hit, the exact thing to bid, the exact thing to monitor your results. You have to check out this new, this, you have to check out this next video. I'm telling you, it's going to be the most important video you've seen yet. And if this doesn't open your eyes and get you excited, nothing will. Literally, my business is absolutely growing quickly. My business is booming because this right here, my clients are making a ton of money. Jump over to the fourth video when I wrap this whole thing up and show you what I think is revolutionary inside Facebook marketing that almost no one knows about and very few people are using.